Hey everyone, happy Thursday. How are you today? I am just getting on here, popping on here, and I wanna say that we're on part six of this Painted Hutch Furniture Makeover, and I wanna make sure you have plenty of light so you can see. Um, let me give you a little bit of update on what we've done so far. So hope you're, first off, I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. I'm gonna scoot this back. Guys, I have three different devices set up, so I do apologize if it seems like I'm messing, but as soon as I push play, everything looks a little bit different. So, hey, I just wanted to um, pop on here. It is um, Thursday and, what is it, June 20th? June 20th, hello. Um, thanks for saying that this looks fabulous. Um, hi, Karen, happy to see you guys over here. I've got, um, YouTube with the thumbs up over here and Facebook and Instagram over here. So that way we don't leave anybody out. So, um, hi Mallory Mitchell, how are you dear? Uh, part six, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wax. Um, no, you know what? We're, we are going, you know what I forgot? I forgot to say that we're gonna do a little bit of sanding first. So, I've got my fine, my fine sanding block. Look at this. All right, so I'm gonna do just a little bit. I'm not gonna do a whole lot, but I'm really just gonna do it around the edges. And I also wanted, because I did a lot of it yesterday with my putty knife, but I also wanna do a little bit here around where the hardware is. Not even very much, but you know, this is where you're naturally going to have more of a worn down finish. So we're gonna work on that just a little bit. And then just around the edges a little bit, We're gonna start pulling this piece together, you guys. I appreciate you sticking with me through all of it. After we get some wax on, I'm gonna get better pictures on. Just pull off that top coat there and let some more of the under layers that we worked so hard on through part three, four, and five really come through. I'm using all DIY paint, and if this is your first time on here, I did not say my name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris, so thanks for being here. You guys have been so kind with your comments, and you've, you've been sharing, and you've been doing all of these really gracious things. I just want to say thank you. I checked in with my customer this morning, and she's loving it. really want to enhance this little eyelet patch right here. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but um, really want to bring that piece into play. And then up here, we created our own rose color, and then I ended up dripping just a little bit of copper metallic, and then yesterday we went back with this old 57, we put a little bit up here, really distressed the piece a little bit. Heavy, nothing too harsh but you can definitely see the difference when you're looking at it in person you don't get some photos on there so if I'm missing your questions or comments I apologize oh Michelle you've been so gracious through this whole makeover thank you so much sticking with me oh well you may have been going like this you guys are sticking with me and I appreciate it. <laughs> if it's one thing that I have learned, it's just paint. And it seems like every makeover I've ever done has got worse before it's got better. And when I say it's got worse, it goes through the whole freak out factor, freak out stage of I just had that so pretty and the more I messed with it, I ruined it. Now that could happen, but for the most part, when you start blending and you start working in different colors, and if you really like a distressed, layered look, what you're actually going to find, more character shows through. Okay. 
So I've already got my wax ready. DIY makes the most wonderful waxes. They're soft, they're really kind of like butter. Um, the number one is love ingredient, but beeswax and four other ingredients. So pretty simple. It's not the hard kind where you've, if you've ever waxed, you have had to dig your brush down in there a little bit. You do not have to do that. Um, Hilda, I'm just getting off the extra dust that I just created. I was just wiping it down before I start um, adding my wax. So I'm not gonna use very much because a little goes a long ways, but I put it out here in this bowl and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip here. And I'm gonna start right here. And this white wax is gonna be the icing on the cake that pulls the entire piece together. And so when people ask me, why are you using a wax? Guys, this is the sealant. This is what's finishing it off. Um, tomorrow I'll come back and buff the piece um, with my, this is my buff brush from Paint Pixie. I just take this big babe, go over the whole piece and shine it up. It gives it this perfect sheen and you're finished. Yep, Hilda, I said cake. So, <laughs> get this white wax in there. It's pretty simple. All I have to do, guys, I still have to paint the top and finish that off after we get off of here today, but I just kind of wanted to show you, I'm gonna end up putting the white wax all over this piece. And last night, I went ahead and put that wonderful Monet green color that I created down here at the bottom. All of the legs, the spindles, are covered with that. They're going to look really softened with this white wax. And if you feel like you get it too heavy, don't worry about it. I'm just going to take my white cloth and just kind of go over it in some areas so there's no chunks of wax left behind. No wax left behind. <laughs> that turned out really beautiful there. I'm excited to take a picture of that little section right there for you. You know, if you guys are like me, I'll find a section of, a, of my makeovers that I fall in love with more than any other section. I'm like, ooh, you know, that kind of thing. back. I meant to grab a ponytail holder. I'm sorry. If my hair is in the way, I apologize. And it's most likely I'll get white wax in my hair anyway now that I've started without a ponytail holder. I just have the top to do and I could show you guys how to do that but I don't know it seems kind of boring anybody have any interest in me showing you how to do the top oh I love the white wax have I mentioned that seems like I say that a lot seems like I say that a lot All right, let's do this top section up here. Let me raise it up for you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean for it to get a little wonky. And my hand's in the way, again. Sorry about that. lovely section right here so you can see a little bit of the difference in what the white wax will do. Thanks 
this, guys. Like I said, you guys are so patient while I work with all three devices. Remember, a little bit of this wax goes a long way. That's a lot of texture, guys. A lot of texture up here. Let me get my camera out next and show you what I mean. Lightly go over that. It's a really simple process, guys. Just give yourself a little bit of time and practice. Practice, practice. I've been doing this kind of thing for years, so don't expect yours to turn out just like it. Just give yourself practice, and what will happen is you'll find something you like and you'll be able to play off of that create your own techniques and your own finishes. So it's totally softened it, just gave it more of a candy coated appearance. Let's call it candy coated, shall we? Um, okay, so you let me know if you have any interest whatsoever in me doing uh, the top with you guys. If that sounds boring to you, no worries. Uh, we will, of course, have to adjust everything to try to get up there to the top, but we can do it. We can do it if you're interested. Um, thanks, and I appreciate it. Have a wonderful Thursday. I will not be back tomorrow until the evening for Friday Night Live um, with Kuita Allen and I. We will be painting. We do have a challenge for each other, which is going to be kind of funny. It's not furniture. Um, so have a great Thursday, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow on Friday Night Live. Thanks for the hearts. Yay. I appreciate you so much. I know, YouTube. I know you're here. So sorry. Thank you, Terry.